Hello and welcome. Ball bearings are small round metal spheres found in most mechanical devices where there are rotating parts. Engines, wheels and many mechanical devices can't operate without them. Even the Norden bombsite wouldn't have worked without ball bearings. Without ball bearings, industry would grind to a halt. Literally. My story starts with the United States Army Air Force General Haywood Hansel. He was a member of a group known as the Bomber Mafia. These were Air Corps training instructors who were proponents of the doctrine of daylight precision strategic bombardment. During World War II in England, Hansel was headquartered with Marshal of the RAF Bomber Arthur Harris who favoured area bombing. They were friends even though they disagreed on which bombing doctrine would defeat an enemy. RAF bombers flew at night, making targeting difficult. The US bombers flew during the day, identifying targets by sight with the Norton bomb site. If you can see the target, then the enemy can see you. Hansel believed that finding an enemy's choke point and destroying it was more effective than wiping out cities full of civilians, even if only some of those civilians were working in munitions factories. To Hansel, finding the choke points were the key. He didn't have long to wait. During the Luftwaffe raid on Coventry, the Rolls-Royce engine factory was damaged. The skylights broken leaving the factory open to the elements. All the trays of ball bearings and the machinery were rusted by water damage, bringing engine production to a halt. Hansel realised that he now had a precision bottleneck target for his daylight bombers, crippling the German ball bearing supply. The city of Schweinfurt, located in central Germany, was the centre for the production of ball bearings in Germany during World War II. There were four ball bearing manufacturing complexes which collectively produced about half of the country's total ball bearing output. All were located near the city's rail yard. The first raid took place on the 17th of August 1943 during which 184 B-17 bombers attacked the city. A simultaneous raid on Regensburg to the southeast led by Colonel Curtis LeMay, was designed to be bait, drawing away the Luftwaffe. Regensburg was the site of a Messerschmitt plant. Here is LeMay recorded after the raid. Colonel LeMay, how's the trip going today? Well, it went pretty well, except that it's rather dull compared to some we've had. There weren't many fighters out. The flak was just modern and very inactive. The inflicted damage at Schweinfurt was not as extensive as the US 8th Air Force had wanted. It did temporarily destroy about 34% of the city's production capacity. Another raid on Schweinfurt took place two months later on the 14th of October 1943, during which 60 of the attacking 229 B-17 bombers were lost. Attacks on industrial centres wouldn't resume until long-range escort fighters became available. This was as Claire Chenault, dissenting member of the Bomber Mafia, had predicted. Availability of ball bearings in Germany couldn't be entirely eliminated. Sweden exported 10% of its ball bearing production to Germany, the same to England, and 15% to Japan. There is profit in being neutral. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe.